Warper, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Binance and I've been doing a bit of research and I've been doing a bit of uh, digging, shall we say, and, and it also helped the community as well, who's also helped with the situation, uh, to try and to figure out uh, a, a bit of new information which we want to share with you guys. Uh, as always, I'm not a financial advisor, this is purely just for entertainment purposes and it's my own thoughts. But, regardless of that, guys, I want to talk to you about something we've seen, okay? Now, as you can clearly see here on the screen, in the last couple of hours, we've seen this weird pattern. Um, we keep seeing this. We see it on the flip side, too. We see it on the, the pumps. We see the pumps and then, and then, obviously, the lowers, right? And you can see the same happening with the lower end, too. As soon as we get up to 0.6, bang, back down. Uh, it seems to be the same pattern here, continuously. And we looked into... Uh, the Dexy tools, and we noticed as well, um, you know, a bunch of people are selling always around the same time. You know, you can see here, uh, you've got, you know, 4 Ethereum, 4 Ethereum, 4 Ethereum, and then 21, 21, all at the exact same time. In the, in the frame of two minutes, um, a bunch of, uh, of tokens has been sold there. And that's quite a lot of tokens, guys, you know, because realistically speaking, like I said, that's roughly around about 54 Ethereum. Well, Ethereum right now is sitting at around about three thousand dollars. I believe it's around three. I think it's about three thousand dollars around the price of Ethereum, give or take. Okay, so that would mean you know one hundred sixty-two thousand Satama was sold in 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 one hundred twenty seconds, uh, which does question a lot of things. Um, you know, obviously the. The, the, the spikes as well, but I don't think that's the only issue. Obviously, the whole issue being state of mass as well. Still, still not working for some people. But today, I want to share with you about Binance, okay? Because Binance is is a questionable thing, which I think a lot of people have been wondering about. We've seen Russ talk about it a few times. You know, let's 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 forget the whole when Balambo stuff for a minute here, and let's talk about actual things we're seeing. Okay, so the first thing we've seen here, which I think is quite uh, interesting, actually. Uh, is if you go down to or oh, Elon Musk's Twitter, uh, they tweeted out saying they're on a plane, they're going they're on a little trip, okay? And that trip, uh, you can see here, was, uh, let's go ahead, keep on down, we'll, we'll find it for you guys. Uh, they, the whole team went on to a trip, okay? And basically where they went was to try and secure some sort of deal. You can see here, obviously, about them tweeting about it was success, right? But regardless of that, they went out to a trip to, I think, San Francisco, and they tweeted this after out saying, uh, it was a success, just getting started, be visionary and see bigger picture in life. Showing Satama really uh, kind of making some sort of deal they've got, wherever they've gone to. So they've gone somewhere to make a deal, right? I did a bit more digging into this. And if, he's just tweeted out literally a few minutes ago or hours ago, uh, 46 minutes ago as well, um, a bunch of information which does give us some clues, right, guys? And take a look at this. One hour ago, beautiful view of San Francisco from the plane earlier today. Uh, Leave in San Francisco. Now, this has got a lot of people wondering what deal are they going to do? What? Why would they go to San Francisco? What's in San Francisco? Um, is it something which you know, a lot of people wanted to just visit, or what, what kind of thing? Um, also, uh, when we looked at about Binance, you can see they're based in San Francisco, so. A lot of people have been insinuating that this could be some sort of. Uh, they went to buy. They went to San Francisco to kind of make some sort of deal for the Binance US side of things. We don't know 100%. But what we do know is that they've gone to San Francisco. Uh, that Binance was already on the terms anyway. They had a discussion with Binance before, I believe, and they said there's a bit too much costly involved. So maybe they've gone there to kind of flatten the ground and potentially get some sort, of, sort of deal involved. Uh, it's an interesting thing to to kind of you know try and figure out. Um, but it does look like uh, this is something what could happen. It says patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. Uh, and also showing a bunch of various other tweets as well, talking about how an all-time high may be coming. Um, when we were at all-time high, a lot of people said, I wish I knew about Satama when it was low. God always responds, now the price is low. The best you can do is spread the word, let others know this golden opportunity. Soon I will have the same wish for people. Talking about how investors, and this is the developer, by the way, guys, talking about how the developers... And investors should now get involved. Uh, also, another tweet. Uh, this is the best time to get all our family and friends who somehow didn't have a chance to get in before and jump in at this discounted price. It's crazy how many people don't know about crypto. Sata Mass will be a game changer. Uh, so, again, as for Binance and exchanges, uh, it, it's something which we're, we're really thinking about. And uh, we're digging into trying to find more information out, guys. But let us know if you've seen anything else as well. As soon as we find any more, 
uh, we'll keep you guys a day straight away of course as you know on this channel I like to try and keep you guys a day straight away and it might not obviously to be it not, might not be to do with Binance you know this is just an, a, a, an example which could potentially happen we've also seen an announcement from Coinbase NFT uh, and Satam has retweeted this uh, so whether or not, um, you know, it could be them or not, I, I don't think it probably is them, but I think regardless of that, uh, it, it's still something that they're tweeting um, to potentially have that in call. But you can see here, they tweet out a few hours later saying, we're excited to partnership with MasterCard. So it seems like MasterCard are partnering there, but the fact that Satam has retweeted that could show that they have the connections because they're making their own NFT platform, right? So there could be some sort of deal there as well with Coinbase NFT and Satam NFT, not sure exactly, but we're going to keep looking into that, guys. Um, and also, what's interesting as well is this, right? Binance tweeted out saying, we're listing a new token today. Which project do you think it is? Just after, just after Satama, okay, came back from San Francisco, US. So, all these things are curious, okay? These are all curious things, which... Uh, we will also uh, keep you guys updated with as soon as we hear any more. But again, we're going to hopefully find this out very soon. We'll listen to you one today. Uh, we have yet to hear what it is, but we're going to keep it out, guys. Hopefully, it's Satama. We'll keep you guys updated. They just come back from San Francisco, so maybe it could be them. Again, we're just coming up with some ideas here, but we're seeing some signs that it could be Satama. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, guys, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. I will keep you guys updated as fast as I can with this information. We're going to find out which coin it is. Uh, but they tweet out saying, see you in the metaverse too. Which one is it, guys? We're going to find out very, very, very soon. And uh, we'll keep you guys updated. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. As always, I'm not a financial advisor. It's purely for entertainment purposes. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.